What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and layout tutorial for you. So in today's video I want to talk a little bit about scrapbooks and how they can make things easier on you um, when working in layout. If you're looking for more great layout resources make sure you check out my layout resources page at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash layout. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I think one of the things that make it overlooked a little bit is the ability to use scrapbooks in layout in order to create your own own styles for your drawings. And so to start off, what we have here is we just have a layout plan. We have a viewport here showing the floor plan of our model. And so what I want to demonstrate in this case is I want to demonstrate how to use scrapbooks in order to start adding labels and other things like that. And before we do that, what I'm going to do is I've taken this floor plan and I'm going to go ahead and lock it by going to the layers and turning off the layer for floor plan. And what that's going to mean is that's going to mean that now, um, since it's locked, I can't accidentally move it around. Like it's placed on my drawings here. And so what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to add a couple different labels and things like that from the scrapbook section. The scrapbook section can be found in your tray on the right hand side. And if you can't see it, you can just go up to Window, make sure your tray is turned on, and make sure the checkbox for Scrapbook has been checked. And so this comes with a bunch of different scrapbooks already built in. So different things like uh, line weights. So if you scroll down, you can see things like... Uh, you can see things like different line weights, you can see things like different section cut views. All of these are things that you can drag in. So like for example, if we were to go into the uh, title block plane and look at the drawing references, um, you can see how I can drag in a drawing reference from that scrapbook in order to label my document. And so this is really powerful because otherwise I would have had to come in here with the line tool and draw a line and then start adding my text box in here. You know, so I'd really have to build everything manually. And we don't necessarily want to do that. And so what this allows us to do instead is this allows us to take something that's been pre-built and just start adjusting that right off the bat. So I can come in here and I can name this floor plan. I can adjust the text inside this circle. So I can do a lot of different things with this. And one of the things that's really kind of powerful that uh, I think maybe doesn't necessarily get talked about so much is the fact that you can edit and change these scrapbooks as well as create your own. And so for example, if I was to click on the button over here for edit and then for this one, it tells me that it's locked for editing, so you can open a read-only version of this. But I just want to take a look at what this is for a second, because really all that a scrapbook and layout is, is just a layout file where things have been drawn inside of it. So you can see how this is basically a file that's got a title block drawn out, it's got a detail called out, called out, um, that kind of thing. And so all, all this is, is this then allows me to drag those in to this sheet. Well, what that means is I can actually create a new document. So if I go up to File, New, and let's say we were to choose a template for, let's say we were to choose the template for letter portrait inside of layout. So when I create a template for letter portrait, that's just going to create a letter page in here. Well, what this allows me to do is this allows me to draw in here just like I would any other layout file. And so let's say that I wanted to create a different kind of um, call out. So let's say I wanted to create a fallout that has a fill, you know, maybe a black fill in it, something like that, um, that's got a little arrow. Well, what I would do is I would just draw this inside of layout. So I could take a shape like this one and I could set the fill in this one to be black as well. Maybe if I wanted this to be on both sides, I could do that. What this allows me to do is this allows me to take this whole thing and we'd probably want to make it a group. Um, and let's make a copy so I can show you why. So for my second copy, and by the way, you can just uh, click and drag with the control key held down in order to make copies. But I'm gonna go ahead and make this a group, and then all I'm gonna do is go up to File, Save as Scrapbook. And you can pick your location for where those are. So in this case, I'm trying to keep everything in my program data folder, but I could just call this something like Justin's Scrapbook. 
Well now, if I go into the scrapbook section and click the drop down, you can see how Justin's scrapbook is actually going to show up inside my scrapbook section. And what that means is I can then take this and I can bring it into my model. So I can click and drag this and you can see how that's going to bring that notation that was in here into my model. And so I don't believe these are live linked. So I don't think if I was to come in here, for example, and adjust this a little bit like this and then save this. I don't think the one that I dragged in is actually going to change, but you can see how this scrapbook over here is going to change, meaning now that change that I made can be dragged in. So really this is just you being able to draw whatever you want in layout and then drag it into your model. And so one of the things that's going to be important when you do this though is you want to make sure that you group everything because you can see how if I was to drag in parts and pieces off of this other scrapbook that I didn't group, you can see I'm not getting the whole thing in here. I'm just getting a little bit. Um, and that's because if you go inside this scrapbook, like this one, for example, these are all in here as individual items. So when you drag them over, whoops, you can see how you just get the individual items. You don't get the whole group. So if you have something like these uh, arrows and dashes that you want to drag over, it's going to be important that you select them all and right click and make them a group um, so that when you drag them in, you get them all right here. And so, I mean, obviously you'd probably want to change this a little bit, but you can use this to create a library of things in your models um, or for your layout files so that you don't have to redraw all of these things over and over. So another example would be Another example would be, let's say you wanted to create some custom looking notations, kind of like this one. Well, you would just take them and just draw them to be however you want them to be. And then you would just do a file save. And now if you go into your scrapbooks, this detail call out is going to be contained in this scrapbook and uh, you can move it around. You can adjust it however you want. And then the last thing with this is you can edit this scrapbook just by selecting it from the drop down and just clicking edit. That's going to open up that page and that's going to allow you to make whatever changes you want to make. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Have you been using scrapbooks for layout? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.